So let us have our second theorem about proving theorems involving seconds, tangents, and segments. This is two second segments. When two seconds intersect a circle, the segments of the seconds, or basically the chord and the whole second, are equal when multiplied together. So ipoprove natin mamaya na yung product daw ng DP at saka yung DQ, yung DP dito, this is the whole part of our second and while this one is the external part yung nasa labas ito yon again product of uh, the whole part which is the dp and then you are going to multiply that with, with the external part which is the dq or qd that is to be equated to the other second yung second segment na sd or ds Mumultiply natin dun sa kanyang external segment na DR. So, dapat yung product nito, dito sa external segment, ay equal sa product nito dito. Again, ipoprove natin yan with the use of our two-column probe. So, these are the given. Uh, we are going to use DP and DS as the second. Let me write down first our very first statement. So our DP and our DS are second segments of our circle. So they intersect at certain point. Intersect at at certain point which is T dun sa ating circle T na ito. Okay? Oh, no, no. They intersect at certain point letter D. Intersect at point D with our circle T. So the reason for that would be given. And by the way, we are going to prove once again that the DP, the product of DP and the DQ, is equal to the product of DS and then the DR. Okay? Pangalawa, statement na tayo. Second statement. We will be using an idea by drawing a certain chord here. So, kakailanganin natin ang chord. So, I will be writing a chord here. So, and another chord here. Ayan. Medyo pangit yung chord natin. And with that, we could say that we are going to draw. Kakailanganin kasi natin ito para makabutay ng similar triangles mamaya. So again, we have to draw PR and the other one is SQ. Because by construction, kakailanganin natin yan para makabuo tayo ng similar triangles mamaya. Third, ano kaya ang magiging third statement natin? Kung nakikita nyo dito, meron tayong dalawang uh, inscribed angles na nabuo dyan na congruent. Ano kaya yung dalawang inscribed angles na yon? Kaya, kung titignan natin, this angle and this angle are congruent and basically, magiging equal sila We're in the measure of our uh, angle S. Let me write that as ordinary angle S kasi okay lang naman na mabanggit ng isang uh, vertex lang uh, angle S is actually equal to the measure of our angle P what would be the reason? so inscribe angles okay, kung napansin mo uh, they are inscribe angles that intercept same R so ang mangyari dyan magiging equal magiging equal yung ating mga inscribed angles kaya nilagyan ko ng isang tick mark dito sa isang tick mark dito and mayroon din akong nakikita pwedeng isang way dyan para malapit na yung similar triangles natin we could also say that angle D uh, measure of angle D is equal to itself 
dahil napansin natin na nag-overlap yung dalawang posibleng triangles dyan with respect to the angle D outside of our circle. So, mamaya babanggitin ko kung sino yung dalawang uh, triangles natin na posibleng maging similar mamaya by a certain reason. So, with this, we could say that the reason here would be the reflexive property because a certain expression is equal to itself. Yan yung mga ginagamit natin kapag may mga nag-overlap na certain side or angle sa isang isa or dalawang figures or sa dalawang figures. So, number one, ah, number five tayo. Ngayon, may na-prove na tayo na dalawang angles na pwedeng maging dahilan para maging similar yung mga triangles natin. We could say here that the triangle uh, PDR, I will select PDR. So, looking at our drawing, the PDR here are, we have to start with this, we have PDR that's a triangle that is actually similar now to, uh, to other triangle na pwedeng makita dyan na ka-size din niya mismo. Hindi lang niya ka-size, kundi it could be as similar to that on, yung unang triangle na yan because of the angles lang ang nakita nating mga statement with their respective reasons. So with that, if I'm going to say PDR sa first triangle natin, so PDR, so, I would select that the other one also would be SDQ. I will name that way para magiging corresponding naman yung pagbanggit natin sa mga vertices niya. So, triangle PDR, we have PDR. So, for the other one, I would say SDQ. So, what would be the reason? So, parang magkahawig na reason nung kaninang uh, unang theorem natin. The reason would be angle-angle triangle similarity theorem So automatically kasi sa triangle kapag mayroong dalawang triangles na congruent sa loob ng kada triangle na yon automatically na yung third angle doon ay magiging congruent na rin because magiging add up to 180 kasi ang mga angles sa loob ng ating triangle Okay so yun, na-prove na natin na similar siya. Maaari na tayong makabuo ng posibleng mga segments na proportional. So for our statement number 6, maaari kong sabihin na magbabanggit ako ng dalawang sides. Let's say I will be selecting from a first triangle. Okay, with this first triangle na triangle PDR. Pag gagawa ko ng fraction ko dyan, we have PD over uh, no. uh, let me drive to the expected dito para hindi na tayo mahirapan mamaya let me uh, mention it as DP over okay I will be selecting the longest side here i-over ko yan sa dito sa isang side ng triangle na tinitignan ko dyan which is the DR so DR ang ginamit ko again from my first triangle na PDR ginamit ko is yung PD over DR. So, pupunta ako ngayon dun sa isang triangle, I would write down that, that na ang magiging uh, proportional nitong dalawang sides na ito would be the longest side of the other triangle which is the triangle SDQ. Kukunin ko rin ito. We have the kung DP kaninang pagbanggit ko, ngayon naman DS ang aking gagamitin. Ano kaya yung magiging denominator nito? Kanina, DP over DR ang ginamit natin. So ngayon, we have DS over DQ naman ang ating gagamitin. So again, what would be the reason for that? So magkakaroon tayo ng proportionality theorem dyan. Proportionality theorem kapag nagkakaroon tayo ng similar triangle. Okay? So for that, so, therefore, sa ating number 7, we could have our cross-multiplication here. Ang magiging ending statement natin dito ay magiging DP times DQ. Kasi nga, ikaw cross-multiply natin. That would be equal to the other crossing part, which is DS times our DR. So, with that, 
ang ating reason dito ay cross multiplication or pwede rin tayong nakapag-multiply ng both sides of our equation. So, ibig sabihin nun, multiplication property ang ating ginamit. So, with that, napansin natin na nagkaroon tayo ng uh, na-improve natin na yung dp times dq is equal to ds times dr with our statements mentioned here with the corresponding reasons. So, let me use that with our example here. So, paano natin isosolve ito once again? Again, we are taking the whole part first. So, we have x plus 8 will be the whole part of our first second. Uh, Imumultiply natin yan to the external part, which is the 8. Sulat ko yung 8. And going to the other second, again, the whole part would be 18 plus 6. We are going to multiply that by the external part, which is 6. So, we could distribute this by doing 8x plus 64. Yan. And the other one, we could have 18 plus 6, which is 24. We are going to multiply that by 6. So, we could bring down the 8x plus 64. What would be the next? What is 24 times 6? We have 24, carry 2, 12, 1, 44. And with that, we could bring down the 8x. We could subtract the 144 sa 64. Magiging, so yeah, subtract na din. You could have 0, you could have 80. So therefore, we could divide both sides by 8. And you will arrive at x is equal to 10, which is the value of this chord, of chord part of our second. So later on, magkakaroon ulit tayo ng third theorem and we are going to prove it also.